I'm ringing Simon Goodwin, you tell him that, you tell him, I'm, I'm in. I will, there needs to be someone that can jump straight vertically up, but I just can't think about who that person is. We're about to go into September action. There's some teams that are right there, my team included. I want to know. Who have you got picked this year? Because you should know, mate. You, you were there, you went through it all. I didn't, so I shouldn't know. Who have you got picked this year? I've got to say Carlton. I th what? I, I, I think they're going to do Don't it. do no, it, I love Kerno. No, I lo the Blues. I, I love Kerno being playing by himself. Yes, I, I right? like that. But what about their supporters, them. mate? Their supporters. Seriously, I think Carlton, could you imagine if they do it? Ugh, makes me sick to think about <laughs> it. No, see, I... Okay, and they've been in form, I'll give you that, but they don't have the double chance. Melbourne have made top four again, and yep. everyone's talking up Melbourne. I'm gonna go with it, obviously, because I'm a Melbourne man. Yep. They've been doing enough. They haven't been sensational this year, and towards the end of the season, they've been just getting the job done at the end of the games, haven't they? And that was not like their year that they won the premiership where they were just steamrolling. But this is my thing, I reckon Melbourne have had the experience of finals. They've had that taste, and you know, you've gotta have a little bit of a taste of finals football before you can win one. They say, lose one before you win one. That's why I reckon Melbourne's going to go well. Carlton, they've, they've, they've not touched finals for decades. No, I'm, I'm with you, but what I'm saying is a fresh new side going in with no expectations of what they're going to do. I think there's some weaknesses in the Melbourne side and Carlton are just going to play their heart out, especially on Vossi with what's going on. The forward line at Melbourne. Will it click? Yeah, right. Yeah. Will it? What's your concerns about that? Well, I just think that we've got this amazing midfield that will just get the ball in and it's just way. So of, you're going to win the grand of, final from your midfield without kicking your forwards? Numbers. Who's your weakness in your forward line? Forward players aren't say, that, it, say who's your weakness. <laughs> no! You tell me who the weakness is. The weakness is they've had injuries. Name the weakness of the forward line. In, Mr. Injury has... Who's <laughs> Mr. Injury? Well, Bailey Fritch has been injured, hasn't he? Yeah. Well, rushing back. And yeah, he loves to run forward, but just, does he pick up the other way? <laughs> well, that's, that's that what your the great players do that, mate. Because <laughs> I reckon Bossy's going to sit up behind the ball and they're going to man that up. And on grand final, they will man up. Yeah. But you're telling me, and you've told me that Melbourne are going to win, but you have concerns of your own Melbourne forward line. I do, and, and of course, and I think every Melbourne supporter does. But I, again, I just go back to Clary. I reckon Jack Viney's had a year like our best and fairest year. He's yep. been amazing. Petrarca, we know he's all Australian and you've got Max and then you've got some other guys that will go through there. I just think weight of the numbers in the end. Collingwood's defenders are great. Darcy Moore's had injuries, so there's my argument. I just think ball's just going to keep there again, coming. You're relying on injuries in order to win. You're looking at Darcy Moore's injuries, which is obviously a concern for you for centre half back. Yeah? Mm, yeah. So you hope that he is injured so you win. Yeah. Your other forwards, you hope these things will go down so you win. So you're <laughs> telling me, is, you're basically telling me that if these things that happen against them. I'm living on a prayer, mate. You're living That's on a prayer. I'm living on a prayer. So are you conceding? That's how I live my hoping? life, mate. Because a good premiership team just goes in and plays their own game, and all I'm hearing is excuses from you, basically. At the end of the day, I can't argue with you. You've got the premiership medallion. I've not <laughs> got one. I'm John Bon Jovi, mate. I'm living on a prayer all the time. I've got it on repeat well, in the I'm car. Worried, I'm nervous for you. I'm worried about you because you declared what you wanted to say, but you've got concerns about if this happens or that happens, all right, you're not okay. just going to, we're going to win. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what Melbourne's missing? It's a high-flying, vertical leap of at least 95 <laughs> centimetres. Right. It doesn't have a run-up, just can go straight up, clutch, but often uses the hands <laughs> on the neck. <laughs> and so today, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure it happened you due to the rules there. today. <laughs> It's a double clamp and then it's straight hey, eyes The umpire closed. paid it, mate. The umpire paid it. Don't point at me. See, you're defensive on me already. <laughs> so I'm ringing Simon Goodwin. You tell him that. You tell him. I'm, I'm in. I will. There needs to be someone that can jump straight vertically up, but I just can't think about who that person is. I really can't. Love you, Crony. I really can't. <laughs>